Hello, it's Sarah. And tonight I have the ATC that I made for Cody's um, challenge. Uh, Cody is Cody's Crafty Corner on YouTube. And she's doing an ATC giveaway challenge for the f to celebrate her first year anniversary on YouTube. So um, April 13th of last year was the first video she posted. So it was a year. Actually, I'm a year too that I've been posting videos. Um, so she did a challenge, and it's an ATC challenge, and I, I wanted to do it. Um, she did say she just you just need to be a subscriber, and then you could make any style or color that you wanted to do. And I love that idea. That's what I did for my pennant challenge as well. And uh, that way you get to see what people like to do, what their idea is of, you know, and ATCs, I've been doing a little research and I think I'm going to do um, some more of these. I want to try, I might go on to um, an online website too and see what they, they do, um, ATC swaps and trades and stuff. So I might look into it further. Um, so I decided to use the Sweet Sentiments paper. I have been playing with, um, I, if you guys have watched my videos, I was doing the, um, the matchboxes. And uh, they kind of are what inspired the style that I chose to do because I was having so much fun with these, um, with all these little trims and embellishments. So I decided to just take, bump it up a little bit. Um, an ATC is actually two and a half by three and a half inches. So still really small, not as small obviously as um, a matchbox, but um, it's very similar. So I was able to use some of the same embellishments and the little cut aparts from the paper. I have um, this, oops, the Sweet Sentiments. Um, I have the eight, eight by eight, I think it is. Yeah, eight by eight. And then I have a uh, the 12 by 12 too, this little pearl. I was wondering if these pearls, I just used the adhesive um, that comes with it, but I think I'm gonna put a little bit of um, fabric tack on there, just because I don't want them to fall off. This one's not going to Cody, so don't worry, Cody. I hopefully, well, nothing will fall off what I send you, I hope. Um, but I did make um, a series, I guess, of these of five. So I don't know, from what I'm finding out, like. Audrey sent me um, a couple of ATCs when I got my pennant. And this says on here, it's number three in a series of four. So she sent me number three and four in a series of four. And these two are, that's why it's the green butterfly and the, I guess, pink butterfly. Anyway, people, so see how they're similar but not exactly alike? It's like a series. So that's kind of what I'm thinking this is all about. So this is the first. Let me just get to the share because I start to talk too much. <laughs> um, and I'm just in love with these. They're super cute. These little images are so precious and the embellishments themselves are so small and, and petite. They're just so cute. So for these, what I chose to do and I kind of got inspired by when I was working with the, um, uh, what is this burlap was to use a metal one metal piece on each one in the series so i did five and i any version of a metal piece because i was liking using these filigrees and stuff so anyway this is what the first one i just put you know trims pretty much i've had one focal image and then i just used these little flowers and these little bling flowers a little stickles and some pearls and a metal embellishment so that's basically what i did and then on the back i put um, I called the series Delightful, I signed my name, I put my um, YouTube address, I'm sorry, my Gmail address, the date, and that this is number two in a series of five. And that's my beginner way I'm doing it. So I'm going to look into it further um, and see. So that's number two, this is number three. And again, the metal part on this is the little like bling that kind of is the, the butterflies like, you know, just tail or whatever, I don't know. Um, I made this bow out of the paper line and the Martha Stewart punch, some more of the trims that I was have been using, and a beautiful image from the paper line, some pearls. And again, I just used one of those. I had this, I printed this out from, um, I think it was an Etsy site. Yeah, it was an Etsy site that had a, a downloadable um, thing to put on the back. So that's number three. This is number four. 
and I'm in love with these things. I'm telling you, they're so cute. I don't know, like, I think they're super cute. I mean, I'm just going to collect them for now, I guess, and then I will start to trade them. But I added the pearls in a little, um, uh, what do you call that, like a, I cut it apart. I cut this part off and made that for the tail of the butterfly. And I, put, I used glossy accents to cover the butterfly and make sure that pearl stayed on. And just stickled around the image and did some trims and a bow. That's number four. This is number five. So my metal part on this one is the key. And I love this one. I had these keyholes. I've been using all my wooden embellishments that you guys have seen. I have the, bur the butterflies, a star. I had keyholes. I, I would love to get more of these. I think they're fantastic little um, embellishments. I have butterflies, and anyway, so this one has um, some lace trim with bling, and this is really sparkly trim, and then I put the keyhole. I covered that with the, um, I love the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic because it has stickle, um, sorry, not stickles in it, glitter in it. And then I took one of the Tim Holtz Brad things, those little, I don't know what they're called. It's some type of a little clasp thing. Attached a little chain to it with a key. And that's my metal um, embellishment on this one with the little girl. These little stamps, I actually cut all those little ridges in. I'm going to have to figure something out for that because I did that on a lot. So, Cody, this one's for you. This is the card. And it actually doesn't have a sentiment on it or anything. I just kind of used the same embellishments from that I've been working with. Um, cut aparts from the paper line. I used some doilies on here. Um, and some more of my wooden embellishments and some pearls. And then inside, I got this idea from uh, Anna. And she is um, everyone. Oh, she's just the most amazing paper piecer and stuff. Um, Anna's Creations? Anna's, oh my god, Zanera One. I'm sorry, Z Anna's Paper Creations or something. Zanera One on YouTube, and she's a Graphic 45 designer right now, so she had done a bunch of ATCs with the um, Sweet Sentiments and had made, I don't know, I think she did a similar thing with the card and a magnet. So I put a magnet underneath the paper and a magnet underneath the, um, the little backing on this card and this one's the one I made for Cody this is the first one I made actually so that's why I just love these little cherubs and I had this in my stash forever but that's the metal piece on this one some pearls and some trims and then boop you pop it in there and it stays so I'm going to write a little note on the top part of the card I think and put it off in the mail to her and so that was it but you guys these are too fun they're too fun honestly I Oh my God, Cody, thank you so much for having this because I was totally inspired. I loved this. I loved, I, I mean, I have already have three more like prepped. I might do some um, mixed media on these. I want to try and do some stenciling, not stenciling, but like, um, you know, stenciling, but with um, texture paste and stuff like that on top of these and like words and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm just I'm just going to start to play because these are little creations, little art artistic creations and I I enjoyed making them so much. So, um guys, check out Cody's um challenge. It's in effect till the end of May and so is mine. Um May 31st is when it ends and like I said, there's no um nothing no holds barred. Do whatever you want and you can send it or not. I mean, um, I guess I'll put a link to her um, video um, with this along with this. So that's it for now. I'm going to look into this more. I enjoy these so much. I mean, look at this. It's so cute. Um, all right, you guys. Thanks for watching.